This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? Uh, today we are at Elbimac and we're going to talk about leaf batteries. And with me, I have the leaf guru, Valdemar. <laughs> you have worked on a lot of leaves in the past. I did. Yeah, and um, so you know, the background is that. Uh, we, okay, we have some protective uh, glasses because we're going to look closer at some batteries so we don't want to, you know, uh, yeah, it's for safety. But, uh, you know, the background is that, uh, man, I look so old now with this glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I, the background is that I took uh, Frankenstein, which is a 10-year-old leaf, to Yale recently, uh, and it was around zero degrees Celsius. And I noticed that, you know, normally when we fast charge a lot, it's going to overheat. Well, apparently it seems like at zero degrees Celsius, it doesn't overheat anymore. Mm. And someone mentioned that uh, the, the old leaf battery, there is so much gaps between them and they, they are not pa packed that tight. So actually the, the passive cooling in the leaf is working uh, sufficient at those temperatures. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure about it, but yeah. Okay, but to, so today uh, we're going to look at the uh, leaf battery. So we can start with this one, which is a 62 kilowatt hour leaf, leaf battery. It's the latest and greatest generation. And it still has no thermal management, no active cooling. Uh, and uh, if you compare this one versus uh, the other 24 kilowatt hour leaf, you see that uh, we have way more packed Oh yeah, uh, cells. Right? The whole battery pack has been packed to the max. There's not much space for more. Yeah, actually, on on the 24, you still have a little bit of place for your, uh, how to say, extra storage, <laughs> sticker storage. But uh, here in 62, it's completely tight. Um, no, uh, no, no more place at all. Hmm. Very uh, tiny gaps uh, around, and uh, when the cover is is closed, is also very, very little free space. But, but think about this, this one, yeah, that's the cover. Um, when you put on the cover and everything, uh, this battery has the exact same form as the 24. So you could put this one in Frankenstein. Yes, it is, it is possible. Yeah, yeah. We, we done on one car that was illegal. Uh, so we had to build it back. Because of some weight, uh, whatever it was, yeah. Or yes. what was it? The, the car was too heavy then. And, uh, or actually, if, you, if you're changing the battery, you have to show the car to the Statens 5S and, and, and get it approved, uh, what, what you have uh, done. And that was uh, not possible because the car Wait. is... So, so if you put a heavier battery in the leaf, it becomes illegal. But if you have a fat passenger, then it's legal. Well, if you, uh, if you have, have two fat passenger plus uh, extra luggages and you are overweighted, so it's also not legal. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I see. Uh, but uh, okay, so if you look closer here, you see that we have these uh, cells stacked quite tight together. This is plastic, right? Yeah. So there, there's a lot. I can now see the strength of, of BYD blade batteries. You have less of this like, I don't know what you call it, uh, 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 stuff. Yeah, um, uh, we have a cell, creates a module. What, uh, this is a module, right? That's uh, four modules there with some stuff in between. So there's a lot of uh, uh, overhead here versus if you have cell to pack. Exactly. But, but anyway, so the whole point here is that if you look here, it has been packed so tightly that uh, once this battery overheats, it takes a long time for it to slowly, uh, I don't know, uh, cool down. Yeah, especially when you have the lid on and everything, it, it just takes a while. But imagine how, let's say, the, the cells in the middle. Um, yeah, yeah. Cells in the middle, if they get warm and the battery is completely tight, no air circulation, no cooling circulation, how the hell you cool down uh, those uh, cells with the uh, passive uh, cooling? Well, um, you know, we have a thermal interface. Okay, there's another thing I, I will mention is that I've been watching Adam Ragusia on YouTube. Hmm? He's, uh, he has a cooking channel, but uh, I like him a lot because, uh, okay, he does cooking, but he also mixes in chemistry and science and physics into the cooking part. Yeah. Uh, he, has a, he has a video where he explained why you should use some, some fat when you're cooking. Because 
he tried to cook some, some vegetable uh, without fat. And the problem is that uh, uh, the vegetables, they e get easily burned. Uh, there is no, uh, the fat works as a thermal interface. You know, just like thermal paste on CPU or stuff like right, that. Right, right, right. Yeah. So the whole thing is that when you have fat or something else, it could also just be water, uh, you get that thermal interface and then you get better heat transfer into the vegetable in this case, or whatever you're trying to, you know, a piece of meat. Uh, but here, um, the thing is that this leaf battery, it's totally sealed. So when I heard about, okay, you know, this leaf, it has some kind of, passive cooling for the longest time i thought oh okay maybe air comes pass, passes through inside the battery no that would cause moisture problem and dust schmutz exactly. and corrosion so you have no in a way you have no thermal interface maybe <laughs> in to, towards the cell right so so then stuff burns like food yeah <laughs> <laughs> and Plus, the, because it's, it's packed so tight, then it takes a while for the whole battery to naturally cool off versus uh, the, the 24 kilowatt hour battery, which has m way more space. And yeah, so, you know, yeah, like less mass, maybe less, less mm. cells. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, speaking of cells, so the 24 leaf, how many cells does it have? Oh, good question. Was it uh, 90, uh, 96? 96, 98? Okay, yeah. but what about this one? <laughs> uh, was it uh, on like amount of uh, modules then we, we should calculate, right? Okay. Was it also approximately the same? I, I can't remember exactly the name number. Because the cells here, is they, they are connected uh, together. Uh, I don't want to make a mistake here answering, but uh, like uh, uh, Leaf had a double cell, um, like uh, one module made of two cells. Yeah, the, the 24 Leaf, Frankenstein. Frankenstein, yes. And this uh, battery has, uh, is it uh, four cells? We can look on another one. Yeah, okay. On the bad one. We can take a look at here. So uh, we have some uh, defective, uh, uh, well, what, what is this one from? Or This uh, model is from uh, 40 kilowatt uh, battery. Okay. And uh, the main problem was that a uh, customer came and they say, oh, I have a bad capacity and we mentioned there is a two, two, like a lower uh, voltage on, on one module. And we thought we can just uh, charge it up and maybe it was like a BMS um, discharging problem or something. But uh, yeah, we charged up, the car worked for two days and then two big balance, this balance again. So what actually is the problem that you see is the, I think it's called the dehermetization Whoa, of, uh, what the heck? of one uh, cell. So this cell is like uh, expanded and it's uh, in short secret. And this causing that uh, the whole car uh, like uh, don't have a good uh, range. Okay, but here you can also see the, the design that you have many, uh, many pouch cells stacked on top of each other. And um, this is plastic, metal, metal should be okay for, for thermal transfer. So here is transfer. already uh, like a uh, voltage, so like uh, don't uh, feel like, uh, how do you say, don't be too relaxed to touch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you hear from this side, like uh, you see that uh, three cells, mm -hmm. like, uh, like, like one module is made from three or like how to call it here. Hmm. Like uh, three cells uh, uh, connected together, and then one module is out of uh, how many? 12 cells actually. Hmm. Since uh, 24 kilowatt uh, battery was out of two cells, and here it's like we have 12. And then uh, this is um, just an example a pouch cell. I think they call it uh, coffee bags, right? Coffee bags. Coffee bags. But it's not metal, it's some kind of plastic thing? It's like a plastic uh, bag. And inside it's like uh, what they, what they have it for uh, for uh, for the cell. But, but which car is this one from? It's from uh, yellow, or not exactly this car, but like Think City. From what you think? But does it have any active cooling or anything? Like that? No, it doesn't have active cooling. But it also didn't have the uh, fast charging and the the, the charger like uh, three three point three. Oh, okay, but I noticed something here. You see here, this, this piece of metal, what, do you know the, the purpose of this one? Of course, yeah, it's for cooling. It's cooling, right? Because it, it seems to have, a, it's like a thermal interface. It connects to the, the, the cell 
and then it has a little loop there, you see? Something? So maybe you're supposed to have some, some cooling plate here to cool it, or it will then transfer the heat. Yeah, of course it, it helps uh, if, if the designers made the system like this, so it, it helps to cool down the cell. But I meant uh, like the um, uh, think battery is also the same as uh, Nissan, it's like uh, tight, there is no air circulation inside. Hmm. Or there is, but minimal. Yeah, so same here. It's, uh, uh, the heat uh, is somehow escapes, but it seems like it might have to pass through some air. So and, and air, the problem is that air is a really good heat insulator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So passive cooling probably called because uh, like a uh, cell gives the uh, heat to the metal, to mm -hmm. the frame, and the frame is attached to the main uh, battery case, which uh, I would say delivering heat to the to the to the air yeah so it's it's yeah so it's connected here together and then eventually this part is the, the lid okay it's also metal yeah. so then it uh, transfers somehow out yes yeah so i don't know if it's interesting but exactly this battery also had uh, have uh, two cells on this model and this model it's actually the first model and the last one and uh, has a little bit uh, lower voltage so I suspect that it has the same uh, dehermatization problem as a uh, 40 kilowatt uh, uh, model that we looked on the bench. Okay. But okay, I, I need to also explain. Um, uh, uh, Valdemar uh, might have plenty of experience with fixing uh, the. I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Valdemar has lots of experience with fixing um, um <laughs> leaf batteries. I have plenty of experience with driving the leaves and what I can say is that um, um, I, I started using the 30 leaf many years ago. I tested it on the trip to Bergen. Uh, it seems like the 30 leaf it replicated but uh, somehow I, I think it was it was quite robust. I uh, wonder if that was a zebra battery or which one was it. but despite being quite hot uh, it still take okay speed. Zebra battery? Uh, I think the yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, this battery has a, like a, as you say different uh, construction, so it has 265 degrees uh, at the minimum at the, like if you to, to have it in the working conditions. Oh, okay, maybe that was not the one I was talking about. No, no, I I, I mixed up something, but okay. But anyway, no. But my point was that the 30 leaf. Yeah, leaf, not things. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the 30 leaf was pretty okay. Uh, for, for replicating hammering. Uh, the 24 leaf, the problem with the 24 leaf is that it has a small battery. Um, but then the 40 leaf was probably the worst replicator, if yeah. you can put, put it like that. Because um, we don't have a 40 uh, battery here, but um, the 40 leaf would be kind of similar. It would be quite packed in there. Uh, and also once the heat is generated, it's impossible to, or very hard to escape. And, even when I did those tests in minus 10 degrees, I went to Alvdal during winter. Uh, once it replicated, it was almost impossible to get out of replicates. But then I had a revelation uh, recently because when I went to Yeilo and it was only zero degrees, it wasn't, I, I was cold gating. I wasn't <laughs> replicating. I was fighting to get enough heat in the battery. So I need to test this, of course, but I'm just telling you guys, it's, I find this interesting that uh, this happens, but I can also say that this this um, um, this thirty no, this uh, sixty two leaf it is somewhat different. Wait, is that schmutz? Oh, okay, is it is it stuff that gathers? But this leaf, um, the forty leaf, once it replicates, it's it back. Then then it's game over. Yeah. The sixty two leaf, uh, it still overheats, but because it has a a bigger battery. Uh, when you discharge it, you, you dis introduce slightly less heat to it and you can actually go further before you need to charge it. So simply because, simply because the battery is bigger, uh, like capacity-wise, it then has less rapid gate. So if you would rank the, the severity of rapid gate, I would say that the 40 leaf is the worst and then maybe 62 leaf and then maybe 30 leaf, I'm not sure. Yeah, and then the, the 24 leaf seems to be the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, 
uh, it was just a little uh, short video, or actually a rather long video about uh, leaf batteries, but I find it interesting. Me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, we will find out soon. I will do, um, I will tr retest 1000 kilometer challenge. Maybe I'll just do a 500 kilometer challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would just want to see if I can get the, 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 the rapid gate on the 24 leaf or not. Hmm. Yeah. So interesting. We, we definitely have to do some uh, like uh, testing uh, uh, upgrades on on uh, Frankenstein. Maybe I'm very interesting to put some experimental, uh, he, not uh, how passive, but actually active uh, cooling or heating on this battery and see how it's uh, how the battery reacts. How uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, once I move over to Yesheim, then uh, I will make some videos. Uh, about Frankenstein uh, because the range is simply too shitty. Uh, but then eventually I can just leave the car here and if you have free time, you can play with him. Then you pick up in spring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.